Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Um, or, you know, to shorten it, you could do SRWB TV, but I think that's even, yeah, I don't know. I'll try to find something. Uh, so, anyways, today we are uh, jumping into a Zinfandel here. This is uh, Kirkland Signature uh, Zinfandel. So, this is the Costco brand. Um, and I've had some good luck in the past. Like, I had that um, Kirkland Shatnuff de Pop that was pretty nice. Um, this Zinfandel right here, it's a 2009 Old Vine Zin from Amador County, um, which is another wine region that's fairly close to where I live. Um, it's about two and a half, three hours away from here uh, in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada uh, mountain range. And I, I just need to hit it up. I mean, there's so many places to go when you live in the Bay Area. When you live in California, it's the place to be, son. Um, but I haven't been there yet. Uh, people give a lot of love to Amador County, and I'm, I'm looking forward to diving into this Zin. It's got uh, 15 months on oak, and it's, it's rolling in at 15% alcohol. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting this to be kind of in that fruit balm type of category, but eh, you never know. Let's see here. As far as color, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty dark uh, burgundy red color, uh, almost purple, almost, um, but no, definitely more in that, that red range. On the nose, so I'm getting, uh, I'm definitely getting some of that oak. 80% American oak, 15% French, 5% Hungarian. Nice little blend there. Uh, I'm not sure if they're new or used. I, I think it's just a little bit of everything there. I am getting like some peppery spices. I am getting some uh, blueberries. I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, smells all right. It smells decent. It's not over the top. It's not too oaky. It's not too fruit forward. It's just, you know, it smells good. It smells balanced. It smells complex. Let's see how it tastes. So there's definitely this um, blueberry, blackberry, plum jam that's in here. Um, not like fakey fake jam, but like really concentrated jammy fruit. Um, but it's not over the top. It's not um, in your face. Um, just like the nose, I mean, it is pretty well balanced. You've got a good integration of oak. You do have this um, spiciness, this these peppery notes, um, a nice acidity. I mean, I am starting to feel the heat of that alcohol in the back of my throat right here. It is kind of lingering a little bit, but it's not um, it's not in your face. It's not out of place. Um, it's, it's actually the, the alcohol is, is marrying well with, with the other flavors there. Let me get back into this again. There's like some leathery notes there. Um, a good tannic structure, slightly astringent. Um, but, but all in all, I mean, this is a, a solid effort. Um, you know, I, I think this falls in that 88, 89 point category. And I think, Kara, we got this for like $10 The Amador County is in, uh, in that $10 range. It's, it's not, uh, you know, over the top price wise as well. I mean, it's a, it's a solid buy and it's definitely worth a try. And, and if this speaks of Amador County Zins in general, which is their grape of choice. Um, I think that uh, we will be making a trip up there very soon. Now, uh, I was excited to open up this wine because tonight Kara and I kind of 
threw together a dish. Uh, on Pinterest, she found this uh, grilled ciabatta bread with blueberries and ricotta and honey and mint on it. And we figured we'd try to recreate it. I mean, I have pretty much the same ingredients. Um, instead of mint, because we couldn't find any that looked good, uh, we've got a little basil on here, but we've also got um, some nice uh, honey that my sister bought us for our anniversary. Really nice ball of uh, honey, Laura. Thank you very much. Um, there's some honey. There's a little bit of olive oil on there. Um, ricotta cheese, basil, blueberries. And this was on my grill maybe for like two minutes, just kind of turning it around. So it's got like some nice little, little burning marks right there. That uh, it really just works. I already had one round already, but I want to see how it goes with this wine here. So let me take a bite. Again, I need to work on uh, how big my bites are for you guys. I apologize. What I will say is that what makes this thing work, because you don't often see ciabatta bread with blueberries on it, what makes this work is this marrying of salty and sweet together. I mean, if you can find... Uh, a way to bring these together that's not just, hey, salt and sugar together, um, but, you know, the sweetness of the fruit, the sweetness of the honey, the saltiness of the um, bread and the ricotta cheese and the savoriness um, of this dish. It really does work. It works well there. Let's see how it goes with the wine. It's what I thought. I mean, it really does heighten up the berry characteristics, the fruit characteristics of this uh, Zinfandel right here. I mean, the blueberries are becoming so much more apparent, so much more present. Um, the, the sweetness of the honey, and it was just a drizzle of honey. It wasn't over the top, but you know that sense of over the top sweetness that you sometimes get with honey? That's kind of taken a step back and it's kind of, the honey is really playing along with everything else. A little bit more with this wine. I mean, pretty good pairing here and, and I'm very excited on this. I'm excited in general. And I hope you guys are excited too. Leave a comment. When's the last time you were excited about something? Let me know. Everybody, stay rad.